Guys, you've heard me talk about this before with almost a million law enforcement professionals in the country, tens of millions of interactions with the public, arrests and traffic stops, and only a handful ever go awry. But when you listen to the media, you might think that every interaction with police is bad. Some of us have stepped up and said, you know what, enough of that narrative, let's change it. One of those folks is Mayor Dave Freed. Mayor, uh, thanks for coming on Chasing News. You are the mayor of Robbinsville, and you decided that it was time to have something dedicated to the officers that keep your community safe. Absolutely. We really wanted to change the, uh, the tone, change the sentiment that has been incredibly negative over the last year and really do something positive and start talking about some of the positive things that we're doing. Can we just introduce your officers? Absolutely. We have Officer Eddie Vincent who works in our high school and we have our newly promoted uh, Lieutenant uh, Swanhart with us today. Congratulations. Thank you. Guys, let me ask you, how, uh, how tough is it being a police officer these days? I'd say in today's climate, it's starting to get a lot harder. I mean, a lot of guys, you know, everybody loves to do the job, loves the interaction with the public and helping everybody out. But, you know, sometimes feed into some of the negative stuff that's out there, but we have to, a job to do and continue to do our job and enjoy it. Officer, what's it mean to you to have, uh, you know, the, your civilian elected leader make this kind of a grand gesture and say that it's time we start recognizing what the cops are doing. I think it's amazing. It's great. I've been working with Mayor Freed for the past couple of years that I've been here and that's one thing that's great about him is he's not afraid to speak his mind. What exactly are you all doing to help recognize the work that these uh, men and women do? The one thing that I always tell people is, you know, if you could just close your eyes and imagine just for one moment what it would be like if we dialed 911 and no one came. This is the front line. I mean, these are the guys who protect us from everything that could possibly go wrong. And we want them to know that we're on their side. And in Robbinsville, you know, we're putting cameras in every police car. We video every stop to protect the officers and also the public. You know, we make sure that we're focusing on training. We don't do everything right. But when we do something wrong, we use those videos so that we can make sure it doesn't happen again. And we have a tremendous problem right now in this area with heroin. Instead of, you know, arresting people and putting them in jail, we're actually working with people who are picked up for drugs and trying to see if we can put them into treatment treatment programs as opposed to being incarcerated and having absolutely no opportunity to get a job when they come out. What are you asking the community to do? Put up blue lights? Put up blue lights. We've got, we support law enforcement signs. Wow. You know, we really want people to recognize, you know, one of the things that I keep hearing too about restaurants who don't serve police officers, you know, when I read that, it just breaks my heart. So I want our businesses to show that we support law enforcement. Well, we appreciate what you're doing. Guys, you're heroes. Thanks. Thank you very much. Appreciate Thanks you coming in. Us. Really Thank do. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for having me.